Okay, I'll take the ring to her scene. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Doesn't he die, like, almost instantly? Oh shit, I just equipped it. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Y'all see that? When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they continued their fishing excursion 500, which took them all around town in search of a few fun fish dudes. Alas, they did find one in a very likely place, actually, but the others turned out to be in a less than likely place. In fact, the place was so unlikely that it led them to search the ends of the world where there was a hole in the world and there was also a weird house that destroyed reality as we knew it. But still, at the end of the day, no fish. However, things had culminated and finally the Dragonborn found the fish and it was right before them. <gasps> it was right behind the camera. Look out! It's looking at us right now! But now... It was time to turn in all these fish after collecting this one. Because holy shit, fish were getting out of control. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Let's head in here before we freeze to death. Holy shit, look, Rallis is taking a dip. This is it. Do you remember this? This area near the orphans tier? This is it. I actually looked up a few places where they could be, these pearlfish, and as it turns out, I think maybe for a lot of these locations, it might be randomly generated? I don't know. Because I went to at least one that was really close by, and it was just salmon there, right? And I saw that sometimes they do spawn in the lake just inside of Dawnstar. Right, there's like a static spawn of them, but they were also salmon. I don't know, so maybe there's like a miscommunication along the way, or some, all, of the spawning points are just random, right? Sometimes you'll get a different kind of fish. I have no idea. Oh shit, okay. We should get over to that, huh? Let's speed on around. Unfortunately, we do not have our dragon friend. No! To save us from this fresh hell, right? Okay, let's go on up over here, but I think we'll turn in these quests We'll go to Falkreath. Can we get to Falkreath from Dawnstar? Hmm, or no from Solitude even. Oh shit Man look at that. I even forgot where the hell we even were <laughs> I think we can go to Solitude and do a Thieves Guild hit real quick. All right, we've got not the sweep job, but the numbers job. We'll do that real quick. And then we can, definitely from Solitude, we can hit up Falkreath, turn in our glass fish. We'll probably get another quest about fish or so. And then we can, from Falkreath, we can go to Winstead Manor and turn that in. Is that a hawk or a dragon? I think it was a hawk. But we'll turn all those in, and then we'll we'll take a, a fishing break, I think. <laughs> so we don't go fishing stir-crazy or whatever, right? We don't get, like, fishing cabin fever. We don't get fish fever. All right. Look, I think we're good to go. Or as some would call it, maybe salmonella. Let's head on out. Good, good, good. Back along this coast, again, <laughs> hopefully 
for one of the last times. Prior Mabel, nowhere to be seen. Our dragon friend, nowhere to be seen. We walk in shame. We walk in solitude to solitude and in shame. Just as the, sh the city itself should be. <laughs> Just as a, a wave of shame should come crashing upon the city. Hmm. They know what they've done. Oh, shit. All right. Hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> what do you want, my fish? What do you want, the pearl fish, you asshole? Huh. Fuck off. Well, uh, I can see you're not one to be trifled with. That's right. Let this be a warning to you. Yeah, uh-huh. I almost thought it was a, like, Imperial Legionary or something. I'm taking all their stuff. Okay. And then I'm gonna drop this. <laughs> I just wanted the XP. <laughs> okay, actually, I guess we could pawn these off in town, you know? Or we could call for our... friendly neighborhood demon lord. Right? Let's see, where is that at? Is that under here? Yeah, black market. Keep forgetting I have it favorited. I can hardly wait. Okay, over here. As cool as the ancient Nord Warhammer is, it is fairly heavy. You know, we can hold on to it for now. We can hold on to that. Oh, you won't buy stolen stuff. Oh, weird. Wow, okay. You too fucking good for it, huh? Jeez. Not willing to take this stolen stuff. What do you care? What do you care that it's stolen, huh? What the hell? How odd. Let's see over here. Get rid of any of these. Now we're gonna definitely keep those. Get rid of the wine. Don't really need that. Do we have anything else terribly heavy? Lanterns, right. And these fucking tongs and buckets and cups. Just all this weird shit we're getting from fishing. Let's get that out of there. I don't want any of that. Okay, I'll do. I do so love dealing with mortals. Hmm. What a weirdo. I can't believe that the demon we summon from another plane of existence won't buy our stolen goods. <laughs> Same, that seems so wild to me. Jeez, which plane of oblivion do you think this asshole is from? You think Apocrypha, maybe? I know we didn't see very many Dramora at all in Apocrypha, right? We didn't see any, but I guess there could be some. I think they're more, like, aren't certain Dramora, they have a, different affinities for different uh, planes of oblivion and all that, right? Like, Dramora, I think, are most associated with the Deadlands, but I think not exclusively. You know, I think, don't they also sometimes show up in others? Or maybe it is exclusively the Deadlands. Old, uh, Lord Dagon's domain. Maybe it is exclusively the Deadlands, I'm not sure. Okay, let us speed on along here as we freeze up again. There we are. Maybe we can get a cool hat that makes us warm all the time. That's just a normal hat, though, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's most hats. Most hats. We, we could have got, like, the skull hat. That would have that made us warm all the time. Jeez, what a help. <laughs> How helpful that would have been. Let's scarf down some restoratives here. There we are. That'll do. Good, good, good. Okay. And like I said, we'll turn these in, but we won't do the next stages, I think. Instead, maybe we should hit up some of these other side quests in and around the areas. I'm not sure. Because you know what? Speaking of Dramora... You know who... We've got a few Daedra quests in our log that we have yet to even address, right? We have... the one involving her scene, her sign, whichever you prefer. And I don't know if we actually have the quest for Sanguine, but it we, so fast. we know One where, the dragon was there, the where it's at. Was gone. There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. I know, I was at Helgen. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Okay, here, here, have five gold? Uh, thank you, Traveler. Be safe, 
And don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Okay. Thank you for your kindness. Did she not say anything? I think that. Yeah, I think she just had like the ambient dialogue where you don't actually enter conversation. Okay. Let us head on up here. Good. Wild. It's been like. I don't even know. Yeah, I guess there's no day tracker. How many days have passed? Well, no, there is, isn't there? How many days have passed? It's been over a fucking year! <laughs> they're, they're still caught on Helgen. Goodness. It's just another weird artifact of the forces at play, right? The Elder Scrolls. There, once again, it has occurred. Goodness gracious. A dragon break <laughs> within everyone. Okay. Let's come on over here. See, instead of the Mandela effect, <laughs> in the on Nern they have dragon break effect. <laughs> they're they're like they they know like oh this probably isn't a real dragon break because if it were a real one we wouldn't even be questioning it right, but it feels like it could be one you know. Well, are you self aware of a dragon break? If a dragon break happens to you, you you must be conscious of it right. Because how else did they know to even write the book about dragon breaks? How did anyone even know? You must know. Otherwise... Yeah, you, you have to know. So you have to be aware of the fact that dragon break has occurred to at least other people. Right? Maybe if it... Maybe if you're involved in the dragon break, you don't notice. You think that this has always been the world as it was. But if it happens to, like, a third party and you witness it... Well, by witnessing it, doesn't it... doesn't that technically mean it's happened to you? I don't know. Maybe you j just shouldn't think about it too fucking much, huh? <laughs> maybe... maybe that's it. Just don't fucking think about that. Alright. Let's head on down here. Good, good, good. Jeez, we are getting so fucking slow, huh? Holy shit. Let's see, let's bring up our map. How close are we to town? Hopefully it starts warming up soon. Okay, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Couldn't ask for better timing on that, jeez. Fantastic. Alright, we'll roll up into solitude. We'll go scribble some shit inside of a ledger. Or steal something, or I, I don't know what we're doing there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cooking the books. We'll cook some books. We'll go turn in a quest at Falkreath for the glassfish, which we have on us. We'll go on over to Winstead Manor. We'll deposit some... Well, no, the fish thing isn't there. It's at... It's at, um... Helsharchen or whatever. The one up here. Or no, it is at Winstead. I'm thinking of Lakeview. Lakeview is the one by... What do you call it? By Falkreath. Either way, we'll go to Falkreath and we'll hit up... The fish quest giver there and then maybe we run over to Iverstead and we finally tackle Sanguines right maybe we finally do that because remember very early on in the playthrough we came across them and I thought like oh yeah we'll just pick up this quest and we'll do it right now right why not but much to my dismay it, it teleports you Rather than you having to, to sort everything out. I forgot that, like, you don't wake back up exactly in the same inn and then you have to go retrace everything. No, you wake up somewhere else or whatever. Which could be fun. And we hadn't been to Markarth yet, so we decided to put it off. So maybe this is, like, the perfect opportunity to begin it. Alright. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Do we need to... How far into Solitude do we gotta go? To the Radiant Raiment, right? Fortunately, most of the actual shops are there in the courtyard area. Which I guess makes sense, right? For travelers and whatnot. You don't want to have all your, like, businesses... Well, maybe you do, you know? Maybe you do want to have all your regularly visited businesses in the back of your town. Because... Then you get traffic, foot traffic, to the rest of the place. But then to what end? Right, it's not like anyone's gonna go buying stuff from some random person's house or whatever. You know? To what end? 
Wait. I know Oops. you. <laughs> Sorry, ignore the fishing rod. Just happened to accidentally right click. Okay. Up and over here. Because I was thinking about, you know, how supermarkets and stuff, they'll put. They'll strategically place things like bread or meat or um, milk sort of further away from the entry point. That way you have to walk past a lot of shit that may encourage you to buy it, right? You might think like, oh, you know what? I was just here to pick up some bread, but oh, look at this. It's a brand new fucking... It's a, it's a brand new version of Skyrim. I'll buy this though. <laughs> if anything, they also put tend to put those the electronic sections toward the back, don't they? Okay. Jeez, we gotta go upstairs, huh? What time of day is it? It's eleven thirty-five p.m. Huh? They do not uh, seem to mind me being here. Oh. Are we friends? Light. Another charming customer. Oh, thank you. I'm just going up here to browse, you know, some of your clothing and all that. Just going, to, just going to look and see what you've got. <laughs> this is all for sale, right? This is all, all part of your stock, huh? There we go. We just start going through her own clothes like a complete fucking weirdo. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Let's go on out of here. Good. Do you think we should rest up? Now, we can we can rest up at our own manor and all that. Okay. Head on down over here. And then we'll hit up Falkreath. By sure. Is that... Is that Azura Star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Oh, we've all got one. We've all got one. All of the Dunmer, we've all got one. This isn't the Azura Star. This is just a recreation of one. It's, you know, it's to honor her. We love her, you know? <laughs> oh, you don't have something for Talos? Hm. Or or I guess not them. <laughs> it wouldn't be them, not here in solitude. <laughs> oh whoops. Oh yeah, I guess you I guess you don't have anything you know, for Talos. What'd you forsake him for some something else? Huh. <laughs> As a Dunmer, you know what? Maybe I can I can actually relate to that a bit. <laughs> don't worry, you'll come crawling back eventually. <laughs> I'd like uh, to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? There we go. Let's go to Falkreath, baby. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Good. All right. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from all. I could really easily day. see a world in which Elder Scrolls VI exists in a place where, like, the Thalmor have won. Wait. Or have nearly I won. I know you. Right. I know you your kind. Always sneaking about. Where are they running to? Are they just sh changing shifts or is there an attack? I think they're just changing shifts. Okay. Let's see. Let us go over to our quest lord. Hmm. Where are you at? Speak with Zaria or Zaria. Zaria? The proprietor of Grave Concoctions is in need of someone to bring her a glass fish for use in potion making. Okay. I guess it's just the biggest marker we got here. Fair enough. Alright. Knock, knock. I got a fish for you. Hey. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? No, I've got here something for you. You ordered it. Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Why name your store Grave Concoctions? I know, it's a bit strange. Not exactly a name to bring comfort to the sick and ailing who come to buy a poultice or salve. But what you must understand about Falkreath is that our town is defined, for better or worse, by the large and ancient cemetery here. That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Drink, the farm is called Corpse Light Farm, and so on. I suppose it's sort of a running joke. Everyone here is depressed. <laughs> Everyone in Falkreath is depressed. Weirdly, you'd think it would be Morithal, given the location and all the goings on, but... Eh, Falkreath is it, as it is. Yeah, it's a running joke. Haha, <laughs> very funny. We're all gonna die. The grave concoctions... Yeah, you take one of our concoctions, 
you ended up in one of the fucking graves. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking bury you. <laughs> there aren't any red guards in Skyrim. What brought you here? Well, my family back in Hammerfell didn't approve of my interest in lethal poisons and death in general. So I left and wandered north. When I found this town with its huge cemetery, I felt right at home. I opened the shop and I've never looked back. This is where I belong. Wow. Dude, she's living the like, she's living the like cottage core goth girl dream. This is it. Every time you see someone on Twitter or, or like social media or whatever, post a picture of like some, some funny like drawing or piece of art of like some old witch brewing a like weird potion or whatever inside of her big cauldron. There's like some cute little cats and stuff going around. You're like, I want what she has. Or I don't care about fucking grinding the nine to five, rise and grind. I want whatever she's got. This is it. She got it. Zariah? She got what she had in the picture. Here's the glass fish you requested in your bounty. I'm grateful for your efforts. Here, take this. Thanks for the coin. And a note from the Jarl? Maybe you can help me. Uh-oh. Look, it's so... It's, it's such a grave matter, she can't even tell us. Jeez, what was the note? I didn't even... I didn't think I would get a note, so I didn't look in the top left corner to see what it was called. Hmm. Oh, dear God. We have a lot of notes. Oh, dear Lord. Hmm. A letter? It could be a letter. Though it did say note. It did explicitly say note. Oh dear lord, what the hell? <laughs> what could it be? What was the note? We'll never know. We'll never know. Oh, Zarya's note from Jarl Siedgar. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Obtain the disguised invisibility potion from Zariah. What does this say? Zariah, I have a matter that requires your skills as an apothecary. I've received reports of Skuma having gone missing from the evidence chest. There have also been mentions of one particular member of the guard neglecting his duties. I believe these to be related. This is where I require your talents. I request that you brew an invisibility potion and then pour it into an empty bottle of skooma. Then, find someone whom you trust to deliver the disguise potion to the layabout always lounging in the barracks. If my suspicions are correct, he will consume the potion and be in for quite a scare. Hopefully this will set him back on a more honorable path. I look forward to your help in resolving this embarrassing ordeal. Please, Grant the enclosed ring to whomever you trust with delivering the potion. I am sure that it will more than cover the expense of their effort. Signed, Sidgeir. Ah. Man. Lucky fucking guard. Real lucky you did not come to a different place and get a different kind of skooma. You're just gonna get some invisibility skooma? Oh wait, we actually do need to pick it up. <laughs> right? If they I'm went sure to, like, the red water area around the rift, if they went just a few a miles east of here, they would have gotten abducted by fucking vampires. <laughs> I bet that would have scared them into stopping skooma or whatever. Or at least killed them. And <laughs> then you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Yeah. I'll deliver the disguised potion in exchange for the Jarl's ring. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Disguised invisibility potion. I'll return when the deed is done. Hopefully he learns his lesson. Good luck out there. Okay. Let's see here. Wow, oh, yeah, look at it. What if I drink it? 
What, what, what if I drink it? Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't. You can't eat. You cannot eat quest items. Come on. <laughs> you idiot. Stop trying to eat it. This is for the quest. Come on. <laughs> okay. Sure. Go on over here. Let's see. Oh, shit. Look. The synchronized sip. Okay. Hey. Wait. I know you. Oh, fuck. How do we do it? Can we just, like, sneak it to him or something? <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is it? How do, <laughs> how do we do this, then? Wait. Oh, I know you. You're making a mistake. I'm here to give you the goods. The only mistake was you showing your face. Jesus Christ. Crimes against Skyrim and her people. What and if I pay you to look the other the way, then can I talk to you all normal? Alright, alright. Just keep your voice down and don't let me catch you again. Oh, shit. The only mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes. Alright, we gotta Skyrim clear our bounty people. then. And I'll pay off my bounty. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. Here's a bottle of skooma I found laying about. I trust you'll lock it away. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't find it when you were, like, frisking me or whatever. Seems like you don't have any trouble keeping the edge off while on duty. Hmm. What if we go this route? Is, are there, like, two different options here? Seems like you don't have any trouble keeping the edge off while on duty. I beg your pardon, sir. I don't know what you're getting at, but whatever it is, it's not appreciated. Here, take this. My way of saying thanks. I understand. Now, let's pledge never to speak of this again. <laughs> Dude, I hope he fucking loses it. I hope he goes fucking buck wild. Hey, how come when we trick these kids into being invisible, how come we can't ever give them an actual, like, invisibility potion? Like, I feel like I just want to start passing out wild-ass weird potions and shit. Oh, here we go. Soon. I can almost taste it. God help us! <laughs> what do you make of that? Other Falkreath guard, what do you make of that? Somebody do something! I guess this oh, guy God. knows. By the gods, this can't be happening. <laughs> I, guess, I guess he's seen this before. I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. Whoa, okay, what about the skooma drinking guy? Jeez. Fucking corruption among the guards. They see a fucking guy drink a bottle of skooma and, like, start tripping major balls. They don't give a shit. Me? I'm just walking I here. I'll cut your fucking hand right off. Right. Uh, I'm going to lay down for a while. Is that new? When would they say that? Huh. Okay. Well, where's our little evidence chest at? Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. I guess we can just take all this, huh? Yeah. Yoink. Lovely. Oops. Sorry, I scrolled out when I middle clicked. Oh, shit. Oh, I know who you are. I know of you. Oh, shit. We should not have come here. Okay, you're approaching me, huh? Need something? Hey. <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on with you here? <laughs> should we talk to this guy since we're here? Fuck it. Well, let's do it. Come to gawk at the monster. I hear you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. You've been drinking the skooma too, huh? Them, but... None of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like, with the little girl. 
Jesus, this is fucking bleak. We just got done with a goofy thing where we're like, fucking around, turning someone invisible. <laughs> what a fun prank and all that. And now, yeah, I killed a child or whatever the fuck. Jesus. Okay, what kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. Is it not common I'm knowledge? sure you've heard of Hersey? men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. <gasps> I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret. And my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Yeah, sometimes I feel the animal inside of me too, brother. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what will you do now? Who is her scene? I guess it's just not common knowledge. Like, most people don't know what the fuck this is about. Who is her scene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. <gasps> A powerful force not to be crossed. As I learned too late. What will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. A unicorn. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free what is this beast why did this make you attack the girl I had just come into Falkreath they needed some help work in the mill and I thought that would be something safe something I could do when I saw the little girl I was just I could feel it coming on I could taste her I needed to hunt but this pitiful limited body wasn't meant for hunting slow no claws. Weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then... Jesus I, Christ. I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. What a fucked up situation. Man. Also, it would be funny... If you could come here as, as a Khajiit, <laughs> there was like unique uh, reactivity for you being a Khajiit. There's like an extra line. You're like, well, I'm a fucking cat and I don't go around just murdering children. <laughs> okay, I'll take the ring to her scene. Oh my, you would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Doesn't he die like almost instantly? Oh shit, I just equipped it. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, shit! Y'all see that? <laughs> okay. We're all just cool with that? By sure, is that... Is that a Zora star? You're not worried about the fucking wolf? Alright, fuck it, man. Fuck it. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Fine. Causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. Oh, shit. How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Man, I'm tired, too. I need sleepy time. Or I'm gonna become, like, the beast. Okay. Fucking A. Let's see. How about this, for the return to her? Okay, let's do it. I'm assuming I can't take it off, right? Yeah, because it's cursed. Gotta bring it to a temple or whatever. Have a mage use, remove curse, or whatever. <laughs> or a cleric, or whoever it is. Okay. 
Hey. Someone new, perhaps. No, I don't I, let the shop's name frighten I you did away. It. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. I don't think that guard will be using Skuma any longer. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Frankly, him seeing the dude turn into a werewolf right in front of him may have also scared him out of it. Right? If you just pretend like, holy shit, I'm, uh, I'm having a real fucking bad trip. Or give him the ring. <laughs> He'll have bigger problems then. Take a look. <laughs> Let's see. What do you have here? Do you have anything of interest? Hmm. Should we buy something? Eh, you don't really have much that's particular to me. Like, I guess we could buy some of this stuff if we wanted. Should we? Nah, we'll hold off. Well, you do have fire salts. Look. Let's buy some of these salts, huh? There we go. We'll just buy all of them. Great. All right, then. Very well. Okay, good. Let's head on out of here. And let's see. How long do I have until I, like, go, f go full fucking beast or whatever? <laughs> How long do I have until that happens? <laughs> A little concerned about that. We should probably, uh, you know, get this dealt with, huh? Okay. <laughs> Can we rest in town? You were talking to that murderous savage, and then he escaped. What are you hiding? It'd be funny if you turn into a wolf right then and there. <laughs> okay. Who, who is this? Oh, Sidgeir. What did we need to speak to you about? I don't even remember. Is it for the the guard? Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Oh, I've helped your people. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. Oh, I thank grant you. you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Oh, God. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. <coughs> okay. Blade of Falkreath. Sure. Come and see me again Did we not sometime. already do that? Are we, like, getting second servings on all these? Huh. The Jarl has oh. appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? Follow me. I need your help. Will you go to my house or whatever? I I built a place out here. Follow me. Looks I need like your you help. Got yeah. Already. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Let's head on out. Is she the only? Non Nord house Carl, you can get? Are all of the others Nords? Might be the case. Okay. Kill the great beast. Oh, great. Yeah, cool. We have to go over there. Fantastic. Alright, let's get our horse. Surely we won't, like, go full fucking beast while we're on top of Prior Mabel. That'll, like, be a conflict. Or maybe we will and. We'll just start flying away. <laughs> we'll just we'll just take off into the sky. We'll explode. The game won't know what to do. We just insta gib or something. Okay, let's head over this way. Good. All right. Lovely. We'll probably stay at our own house and rest there before. Because I'm, I'm a little worried about this now. We, we've we got, like, a ticking time bomb situation going on, you know. Okay. Down this way. Kind of fitting that we're we're dealing with this now that we've done all of the Solstheim questing and all that. Fun fact, I guess, for those who don't know. In Blood Moon, the Morrowind expansion, the Ring of Hercyn is one of your rewards and all of that. Ooh, shit. Oh, wait. The beast is right over here. What is this great beast? Okay. Let us equip our special hammer. There we are. And get ready to smack a fool. I thought we had to, like, roll up to Bloated Man's Grotto or some shit. Okay. What is the beast? Is it, is it him? Is he the beast? 
Oh no, it's not a unicorn. It's a friendly dude. Okay. Oh shit, there's a big motherfucker though. Sorry, friendly dude. I'm a sick fucker. Look out! Ugh, I'm coming through! Uh... Boom! Gotcha in one. Sorry. You are majestic and beautiful. Oh no, you've become ghost! Wow, that was quick. Okay. Normally it takes a bit. Should I take your, like, antlers or something? I guess. It can be like a form of honoring it. Oh! Oh, it's you! Oh, okay. Are you gonna scream at me or something? Well met, Hunter. Are are you Hercian? Didn't I just kill you? Uh-oh. <laughs> There's another great beast! <laughs> I think this beast might be a little bit greater than you. Hey, didn't I just kill I'm you? Skillfully too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. Thank you. You may even oh, be my champion. Perhaps. Cool. How do are, are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glory. Your neck star is really your weird. Calls her scene. What would you ask of me? Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body Ooh, my and God. make it an offering to me. Dude, you're sick. Okay, it shall be done as you ask. He's done me no wrong, I won't kill him. No, fuck yeah, I'll kill him. <laughs> Die, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Oh dear. Okay. Begin the hunt. It shall be done as you ask. Oh shit, this was a fucking- ooh, Fucking ancient dragon too. <laughs> Good shit there, Rallis. Oh shit! Oh gosh, okay, okay. Oh gosh, oh, I'm clicking the wrong shit in. Okay, all right. Let's re-equip this shit. Should we dragon break? Or hang on, should we? <laughs> you know what? Maybe this is good. <laughs> we can. All right. You know what? Fuck it. This is great. This is a great thing for us. Um, let's see. Let's see here. We don't need your soul, do we? Thanks. All right, yeah, let's do it, man. Take me over to the bloated man's grotto. I got a quest to do, baby. <laughs> we do need to rest, but eh. Okay, over this way. Good. Is there maybe like a place to rest around here? Fuck, I hope. Oh shit, what is this? What am I looking at? Oh, okay, okay. I've like become recombobulated. Oh, please don't put me on the other side of the mountain. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Thank you, ancient dragon. Sorry about Rallis. He <laughs> he's not right in the head or whatever. He's been controlled by demonic beings as well. Something that would never happen to me. <laughs> I would never heed or bend my my will to a demonic being. You can trust that. <laughs> Okay, let's <laughs> let's go on over here. I don't even think that yeah, Ajidal wasn't even demonic. Come on, Ralus, kick it up a fucking notch. You're gonna get controlled by someone who wasn't even a demon. <laughs> what the fuck? What a fucking baby. Let's go on out over here. Oh look, Prior Mabel is already prepared for action. Love this, love it. Okay, before we go in here, cause we get sucked into it, don't we? Is there, like, a locale around here that we could rest at? Oh, where is... There's that little camp near here. For... The Saints and Seducers, right? It's right around here, isn't it? See, look, yeah, already... We're getting so tired, our vision is, like, blurring. Isn't the Saints and Seducers camp, like, right over here? Just right in this little, like, cubbyhole? 
think it is. And we should definitely make use of it, what with how tired we're getting. I mean, we won't be fully rested, but it'll be a massive improvement. Yes! Awesome. Okay, great. Holy shit. Look, ski. This shit is paying off as well for survival mode. There's so many camps all over the place. It's so useful. Okay. Sure, like I said, it's not going to be a full rest, but it's better than nothing, you know? Let's chill out by the fire, and then we'll use it while we've got the heat buff active. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Let's go for... Nine hours. Should be not super cold. We'll sleep through all the frigid air and all that. Oh my god, is that why the refrigerators are called frigid airs? Holy shit, isn't there a brand of, like, refrigerator that is called a frigid air? And it's not spelled like frigid air. But it's a play on words for frigid air. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow, Skyrim teaches you all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> what the hell? That's incredible. Isn't there, there really, there is a Frigidaire thing. That's real. There's like a Frigidaire company or something that make refrigerators, at least in, in the US. I don't know if they're, if they're like a global, like mega corporation of refrigeration, but at the very least, I, I'm familiar with Frigidaire. <laughs> Okay, let's dig this up. Pour frost, equip that. Good. We may go inside of the bloated grotto next time. Because if I remember, it can sometimes be a bit of a drawn out event. You know? Alright, anything else over here? Oh look, we could pick into that for more goodies. Empty shit, Rallis has just set off the mega blaster. That's fine. It's empty. I think... Didn't our pickpocket go up? Or our lockpicking go up to a hundo? Let's double check that. No, it went up to 99. Okay. Fair enough. That's still quite good. Alright. Well, look. The double giants. Okay. There we are. I'm surprised we haven't turned into a wolf. How often does it occur? It must be kind of rare. Or maybe for real, being on Prior Mabel, like, spared us or something. Uh, maybe it would dismount us automatically if we go to Transformer or whatnot. Hmm, I could see that being the case. Alright, so when next we come back, we'll end this one a little bit earlier. Just so that way we can have, like, some sort of degree of pacing aligned properly. But when next we come back, we will be heading into Bloated Man's Grotto for the second time. And this time, things should be a little fucking different, huh? It'll be a little bit weird, huh? All right. Do we need to read any fucking books and shit since we do have some extra time? Oh, jeez. I dropped my pen onto my keyboard as I'm shuffling my book around. Yes, yeah, Saints Bandit Leader's Journal. You know what? We were right here. We may as well read it. Okay, let's do it. Yes, yeah, Saints Bandit Leader's Journal. Good. Let me cross that off my list. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do they sound, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> do you think they sound like an Oblivion character or something? I feel like they would. Okay, let, let's, let's fucking go with it. Now this is what I call easy coin. I'm proud to be one of the saints. Every few days, Rissad comes down the road, and his wares are ours for the taking. We don't take everything, mind you. If you don't got nothing to sell, <laughs> they definitely sound like Nords. <laughs> he can't stay in business. And then where would we be? Just, we just skim a bit off the top each time. Kinthal should be happy with our latest steak. Take 
he'll be leaving his camp up near Cothwaston to pay us a visit soon. Those damn seducers were eating into our profits until we drove them off up north. Other merchants pass through those parts, so maybe they'll stay gone. <laughs> right. Read very much like um, the elf, the masculine elf voice actor, who happened to also be the voice actor for her scene. <laughs> it would, they, they got, um, they got Wes Johnson and that elf voice actor carrying a lot of, of the voice roles for Daedric Princes, which is cool, but I'd love to, I'd love to hear them get more Oblivion voice actors and like each, a different Oblivion voice actor does a different fucking, what do you call it? A different Daedric Prince, you know, cause they're not all back. They're certainly not all back. At least not from what I've heard. Okay, cool. Like I said, when next we come back, Bloated Man's Grotto. We have an update on the Saints and Seducers just as well. I don't know if we'll follow that up just yet, though, right? That said, we've been kind of not really following them up at all, but we've just kind of stumbled upon a whole bunch of their shit, you know, just by way of doing our adventures and whatnot, which, for all we know, maybe will be the case going forward with the fishing just as well, since we're taking a bit of a break from it. Anyway, until next time, please take care of each other. Bye.